Welcome to the Heat Check. I am your host, Jacques Slade, and today I'm obviously not in the studio. I'm actually traveling in Chicago with Finish Line, which actually makes sense because the first shoe to drop, which is dropping today, is the Air Jordan 32. The Jordan Signature line has been one of the most prolific sneaker lines in the histories of sneaker brands, and that line continues with the launch of the Jordan 32. The shoe originally launched in the red colorway as a teaser, but today things are kicking off in the bread colorway or black and red colorway in the mid and in a low. While black does dominate most of the upper the low top actually has a white midsole while the mid stays with a black midsole both from my experience playing at the launch event feel great on the court and you can grab the air jordan 32 in the mid for 185 dollars and then the low for 160 dollars jumping ahead to tomorrow we see one of the brightest foam posits that i have ever seen simply called metallic gold. The shoe has a bit of a carbon fiber texture over the upper, but it is really the Nike swoosh on the side panel that's super shiny, and that gives this Foam Posit Pro all the love that it needs. Nike actually did a really good job mixing the gold with the black, but then they kept it pretty simple for the most part on the outsole, but you do see a white Nike swoosh there, but then you really won't see that since it's at the very bottom of the shoe. For those that plan on picking these up, they'll cost you $230 over at Finish Line. Now for one of the, I would say most unique shoes or actually pairs of shoes that are dropping this weekend is actually coming from the good folks over at the Three Stripes. The official name of the shoe is the Adidas AF 1.3 or 1.4 PK. Now I know the PK stands for Prime Knit, I'm still not sure what the AF stands for. Both pairs of the shoe are winterized for those that need that sort of extra protection for the winter months, and you can get them in a high or a low. Now, when I say high or low, you would expect that the high would be 1.4 and then the low would be 1.3, but it's actually switched. The low is 1.4 and the high is 1.3. To be fair, I think both pairs actually look really nice and I'm not sure which I would get the high or the low, the black or the white. Either way, if you do want the high, they're gonna cost you $200 and the low is gonna cost you $160. Jumping ahead to Friday, we have some releases. Well, this release in particular is actually strictly for the women and it's the Adidas Alpha Bounce. These feature a super clean white upper and I'm actually not even sure if I can call it white because Adidas is just saying that it's non-dyed, so technically Technically, there is no color to the shoe, if that makes any sense. These will cost you $110 with that gum outsole, and you can grab those over at Finish Line. Now, when it comes to basketball shoes that are priced just right, there's actually three pairs that come to mind. First up is the Adidas Dame 4. This pair is dropping on Friday in a white on white colorway with a gum outsole that looks fantastic. The Dame 4 has been getting a really great response from the basketball community. And for those that are looking to pick up a solid basketball shoe, this is probably right up your alley. You can grab this pair for $110 and plus they have that gum outsole, which you guys know I love. If you prefer your basketball shoes with a Nike swoosh on them, the Kyrie 3 is dropping in a black colorway this weekend as well. The Kyrie 3 has been getting a ton of love from Nike Basketball, and Nike Basketball has been doing a great job with the colorways, which always helps sell a shoe in my opinion. For those looking to grab these, they're gonna cost you $120 starting on Friday. Coming up next is a shoe that's very similar. It's the Nike PG1. As most of you, you already know that Paul George is playing for OKC, but this isn't an OKC colorway. It's all black and it's a solid basketball shoe. Like the Kyrie 3, Nike Basketball has been doing a great job with the colorways and I'm looking forward to what else they do with the PG1. You can grab this black pair for $110. Now, if you are a Cam Newton fan and this is football season, so this is the perfect time to get this shoe. It's the Under Armour C1N. These actually dropped in several different colorways over the past couple of weeks and this gray and turquoise colorway is actually dropping this weekend over at finish line and you can grab those for $120. All right, jumping over to the Jumpman, they actually have two CEO themed sneakers, although they're not technically called CEO. I'll get into it. So first up is the Air Jordan 32, which I know started off this video, but they're doing a separate Charlotte Hornets looking colorway uh, that's going to be dropping on Friday. Now, these aren't officially CEO shoes. They're technically called Boardroom. That's the nickname that Nike gave them, but they do have CEO on the reverse of the tongue. If you plan on copying those, they'll cost you $185. Now, the bigger release of the weekend is the Air Jordan 16. These are the shoes that have that removable 
little shroud on the upper, and they're still following that sort of boardroom theme with the boardroom nickname. The colorways are very similar, although they have that like sort of translucent color changing patent leather right there at the toe. These are very, very limited. They're numbered. There's only 2,300 pairs of these that are actually dropping, and you can grab these starting on Friday for $250. All right, guys, as always, there's a ton of different things dropping this weekend, but these are the important kicks that I thought you guys should definitely know about. Uh, as always, make sure you like, favorite, and subscribe, and then look down in the description for all the information about the sneakers that I talked about today. With that being said, I'm Jacques Slade. This is the Heat Check presented by Finish Line, and as always, guys, I appreciate you. I'll see you soon. Peace.